In this episode, we're going to talk about NFTs, the latest trend about making hell a lot of money or the best way to lose all, all your, your money. money. <laughs> <laughs> I don't dare tell people that I buy. I, you know, I'm super transparent, but NFTs, I don't know what the hell am I doing. I feel Just like I can enjoy myself also. <laughs> the rich favor the ridiculous. 20 years ago, like we were in studying and we would think that we would pay $10,000 for a JPEG. It's good for creators to protect their, you know, uh, original products. A whole ecosystem of NFT linking to NFTs, right? Yeah. I think that is the most powerful thing that I don't see as well. And I know it's wrong and then I get so stressed that I just shut up my laptop. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, welcome to another episode. Today we have Benny, Chewy and me, the Donkey Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're going to talk about NFTs, the whys, the should you or should you not, and why is it such a big trend? Recently, Visa just bought their first NFT, a crypto punk. Oh, Visa? Yeah, Visa. Like officially as Visa listed. Yeah, Visa. Company. Visa listed. Officially, they bought so crypto what punk. They, what if they buy a JPEG? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it makes me wonder that too. But I think they're just trying to show the world that. You think they're going to print it on their Visa card? Maybe, maybe mm. then they'll get more people into these NFT systems. Mm. I, okay, the, the thing about NFTs is that I think it's important because most people, if you talk about cryptocurrency, they don't give a shit. But because of NFTs, they are drawing a lot of crowd into this yeah. crypto sector. And I think it's going to be uh, the next big boom. But the thing is, there's a lot of any NFTs can go zero. Yeah. And yeah. there's a lot of things can go to the moon. Like, if you, have you heard about CryptoPunks, the first NFT minted by, I don't yeah, know, somebody? Way back. Um, way back. So I think it's an 8-bit or 16-bit uh, resolution file yeah i feel that like i can draw it myself also <laughs> <laughs> but it's the because it's crypto it's unique and even though you can like like cop, right click save the picture mm -hmm. it's, it's not unique to you yeah yes, uh, should we start by saying like this was nft for our viewers who are very foreign to crypto and even uh nft right, right let's do it yeah non-fungible <laughs> token yes yeah. in short right it's a unbreakable token you know like there's this thing called one Bitcoin, mm. you can buy in 0, 0.0 multiples of uh, Bitcoins. But this is uniquely means as one designed by itself, traded on platforms such as like Open Seas, you know, and, and many other different platforms, right? And people are buying it as a digital art, at, at least at this version right now, right? It's a digital art, right? And this digital art, uh, you cannot be counterfeit because there's only the link to that address you can see previous transaction unlike classic art pieces where price is often uh, manipulated without transparency yeah so exactly this is nft i think one of the most underpaid people in the entire like world is actually the creatives for example if leonardo da vinci draw the mona lisa and after that is being sold so he only earns that one miserable time and subsequent uh no royalty fees yeah right? mm. yes there's no royalty fees no nothing but if he gets a percentage of the fee each time is being resold to somebody mm. else. I, I believe it's very good for him as a creator. And also he would actually be, he wants to take part of the journey with you. So he'll actively still promote his Mona Lisa. So as a creator, you are incentivized to continue uh, driving the NFTs, the, yeah. the creative work that you created up or like, sharing that yeah sharing the, the yeah sharing the vision it, yeah. Yeah. yeah i mean so i understand like this big concept of why nfts should be done i mean it's good for creators to protect mm -hmm. their you know uh, original products right but i just don't understand the current nft products or so-called art on the market like I've been looking around at mm -hmm. like what just yep. now you mentioned the crypto crypto punks. punks and I realized that a lot of the what crypto pills something with crypto is like selling better I don't know why but I look at the picture I just look like it looks like something I can draw on my own yeah so I cannot really appreciate that art it's same eh? I find them all them ugly I don't know about you Not but nice. there's only one creator which I like a lot I think his name is Wallop or something like that he doesn't have a actually a project he, he he sells some of his original artwork on open sea oh. and a lot of people buy it i use his uh, pictures in my wallpaper and stuff because uh i, f I feel to his uh, drawings so yes. it's very funny okay so now the uh, it's quite standard those that they are like more popular is always like a solid background mm. and then it's either a penguin a skeleton mm. or like a ape or just a Dog. anime or yeah. cats. It's just so weird. Yeah. Really like, lame, why right? is it so like expensive? I, I mean, come on, it's like costing a few thousand dollars. 
frankly, for each little JPEG. I don't really understand the rationale behind it. Actually, it's very easy to understand. The rich favor the ridiculous. The more <laughs> ridiculous you are, right, the more flaunt of flex value. If you can afford a million bucks on a digital art, right, mm. it's huge things to flex right now, right? I mean, like, do you have a billion, million bucks to spare the park in the digital art or not? No. Exactly. No. Right? So, but to say, man, guys, I got a million bucks to park in the digital art, right? Well, that, that is a, that is the bombs, right? And because of that, right, there are billionaire communities in digital art right now, right, um, going around as well. So, a simple conclusion, and we're going to talk about the details in, in between to me, is this is buying into a community. Right, I mean, you think about it, there are certain crypto projects that are largely owned by multi-millionaires and billionaires, right? Mm. And if you can buy into this community, right, you're gonna get early information, you're gonna get network. It's as simple as joining like, in Singapore, we have like, Singapore Island Country Club, you know, like you're paying like gazillion dollars on, on grass field that you don't use and a <laughs> cafe that you could like, get more convenient <laughs> elsewhere, right? Mm. So it is the same thing as well. So it's just the modern version of global networking. I mean, like in Singapore, if you join a country club, you network with like Singaporeans and like maybe expats and that's about it, right? But when it comes to this, you're instantly tapped to a global network. I We have a friend, I think uh, Ken would have known as well, who literally make a more than a million bucks uh, within the last 60 days in uh, crypto, become one of the prolific name in a uh, crypto uh, NFT world in Singapore and he got a chance to chat with like Logan Paul and Gary V wow. within like 30 days right and mm. this is the power right now I mean even if you have a million buck to yeah. buy into a community club right now you don't get to meet the decision. biggest change decision maker right, right now right? but this is the community as well and because of that I think certain product prosper certain communities are formed. So I think what you want to understand is that it's part of an investment, speculative, highly risky investment, right? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you're also invested not just in a digital artwork, but a flex of community of belonging that who you can be with. Yeah, then I find it really <coughs> risky because then like I'm looking around at all the NFTs that's like being listed on C, C oh, right? Open C. Open C. And how do you decide what is a good project to go in? Mm. That's the questionable thing because I've been wondering and doing some research and I was thinking, what are the deciding factors? And because I cannot come up with a deciding factor, I come up with my own weird factors and I know it's wrong and then I get so stressed out, I just shut up my laptop. <laughs> <laughs> do it just, just, share, just share your factors because uh, probably the audience here would like to know like how to go researching on a po possible like 100x uh, NFT projects. What are the top process that we do and how, yeah. what we research so on? So before anything that's going to happen in the next few moments, right? A huge disclaimer right now is none of us make our million in <laughs> NFT. We Every advice and NFT. opinion we're going to share next is based on what we are doing right now. Yeah. Not from a million dollar that was bought. Yeah. Just like any other YouTuber who comment about stocks investing without having a million dollar portfolio. That's what we're going <laughs> to do next again. Okay? Oh, let's, let's just turn <laughs> some shit again. <laughs> that's, that's what we're going to do next. Okay, because yeah. we are so new, yeah. we kind of in three of our own standard, we don't earn the right. Yeah, in our own standard, honestly. Right? But I think it's important to expose our journey to let people know how are we are uh, investing and uh, how are we doing. And uh, Ken, are you personally in an uh, NFT? How do you look for? Projects? Yes, I am. But I'll cover the later part of the episode. Sure. <laughs> I, I but by the way, I bought into it and <laughs> ding <dang. laughs> Oh my god. I don't dare to tell people that I buy. I, you know, I'm super transparent, but NFTs, I don't know what the hell am I doing. That's yeah. why I'm not, I'm not transparent. <laughs> the thing, you don't know what the hell, hell you're doing. Then you come up with your own rules and regulations yeah, 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 yeah. to guide yourself on what you want to buy. Yeah. So I think it's quite stupid. Uh, so so I find myself very stupid investing in NFT. Yeah, you should, should, should ask your, your, what's your own rule and regulation. There are two ways, right? One is you go and buy uh, those that are not minted yet. So you wait for it to mint and then you buy the mint one and then after that you can really immediately sell it on the so-called second-hand market right mm -hmm. usually the first few one two days i think you can earn the margin and earn the dollars but after that the price will go down <laughs> <laughs> on a bad or, project yeah on, on a, a bad, bad project, project. Yeah. or you can go to the open sea and just buy those that people are already trading on the on the market right so i found i look at uh what do you call it the neon cat neon cat neon cat mm. Mm. I oh. see that it looks very cute and it's moving. Okay. So I wanted to buy and I was telling, hey, Benny, Benny, we should get this because everybody knows about this cat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I think popularity does count. Like. I mean, like yeah. th there's a part as well. And ne Neon Cat, not endorsing it because I don't own it, is 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 why why that conversation started because at least it's a known artwork, right? It's mm. a recognized, I wouldn't even call it, I don't know, is, is it disrespectful to call it art? Lah? Okay. Like, no, no, ding, 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 
Okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, but in the end, we didn't buy that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, just it, like, you know. Buy, yeah, yes, yes. So, so uh, yeah. In the yeah. end, we went to check out. Hey, like, but, but I want to catch you on one word. Yeah, what? I, I think it's... I'm quite disturbed by it. Very interesting because I don't think you could consider NFT second hand. You can't, you know, because it doesn't get old, you see. Uh, like, like, like you're always buying a new piece. Yeah, you get it, right? Because you don't get transacted from a... Like, you know, a watch. Yeah. There's a useful life, right? But yes. NFT do not have a... Second hand, third hand, fourth hand. You sell to me second hand. Yeah, I know, I know. Like, 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 like legally, yeah. it's yeah. correct, like second hand. But <laughs> like, I just somehow like have this like, oh, you know, like second hand means like slightly old or like like used before or like I need to maintain it. Like, I can choose to right? agree to disagree mm. because let's say I was looking at Gary V. He is the ultimate influencer. He's called uh, the godfather. Uh, yeah, godfather the godfather NFT, of, uh, God, uh, godfather of the internet, uh, yeah, social, yeah. social mm. proving. Uh, he created his own project and his NFTs below there used to be owned by Gary V. Certain mm. art files. Oh. And those have a lot more higher value. So imagine I have an NFT that used to be owned by one of my idols. Oh, fuck. Oh, sorry. So <laughs> Censored. <laughs> yeah, oh, you're right. Because we can see the last few transacted buyers and it's quite cool. I didn't think of that. But I could own okay, by like wait. a yeah, celebrity, yeah. right? If, yeah, if, yeah, if yeah. it's a piece of physical thing that my my idol owns and he has touched it before or wore it before, then yes, but it's just a piece of picture that the transaction say, oh, he owns it before, maybe for one day, and I pay a higher premium for that. I think that's really stupid. He never even touch it. Hey, but at least. Yeah. You also don't know he he wore it or not, but this one we know he definitely owned it, right? Yeah. I mean, like, oh. Maybe you are smelling some other weird stranger <laughs> smell. <laughs> then you, you call it like your idol smell, like <laughs> so that's so gross, right? But at least this is definitely legally, transparently, inbreakably proven I, that, that he owned it. I right? think yeah. we just found a way for like Justin Bieber and all the celebrities to really monetize their 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 fame. You know, they yeah, could yeah, actually yeah. do that. You yeah. should do that. Hey, how many of y'all will buy into a donkey uh, NFT? No, no, no. <laughs> Please, uh, please, please put in a comment. Why type use donkey NFT? Why right? use me yeah. as an example? Why don't you use some hot celebrity? Wait, you wait, know? Wait, owned by Chicken Genius number ah. one, right? Like, how many of you are buying right? Comment at the session right oh now. God. Not that we are launching, although I've been telling him to launch since day one, but we are not that like we are launching, right? But but please comment, right? And let's have some peer pressure in the community. Yeah? <laughs> 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 the, the, oh no. The okay. Can do okay, let's talk about the strategy. Okay, this strategy I learned from people who are very experienced in this market. They earn their rights. Mm. Where do I learn this strategy? Sadly, right? Uh, the new generation they learn from TikTok mm. <laughs> there, there, there's no other way they, the new generation they don't YouTube this they don't like I mean yes there is but most of this good information comes from TikTok they were talking about how they what's your strategy so number one they go to Rarables there's this website called Rarity.tools 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 yeah, Rarity .tools. Rarity .tools. Rarity .tools, yeah. Rarity .tools, yeah. Mm. yeah Rarity tools or something like that to search for Rarity and the other thing is because NFT is driven by community mm. Mm. and because it's driven by community you would need to join the community Discord, Discord Twitter yeah. 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 and so those community with more people mm. yeah that's what the, we, we did. Yeah, and then the NFTs usually will go up in price. Yeah. Personally, I did that. So I go to rarity.tools, yeah. I go to upcoming projects. Oh. In the upcoming projects, I click on every project Discord group to, to see how big yeah. is a Discord group. Mm. So anything below like 10, 15,000, uh, I wouldn't consider that as a vibrant community. Next, mm. right, one step ahead, right, is I look at the active member chatting at every given moment because you could have 15 fake account or you could have like yes. oh, 15,000, right? 5,000 is actively chatting, right? That's yeah. a, a solid one. Yeah. You know, I, I feel that's a baseline as well. So, of course, I bought into a post, uh, post one like this. This is a post I bought in uh, OpenSea. And then oh. some, we tried to mean, I uh, failed to mean because it was so popular. And I'm still trying to figure out. Yeah, I'm still <laughs> trying to figure out how to get it minted, uh, being in a pre whitelist. In the Discord group, if you're an active community member, mm. right, you could be in a pre launch whitelist. And you'll definitely get it mint and you'll definitely make wow. money. Yes, you'll definitely make money because for, for some projects. Because yeah. the first wave will be like for example, El Carbon uh, launched, right? The pre guys who launched the first wave of three thousand probably make their big bucks already. Yeah, I wanna yeah. share my experience about El Carbon. <coughs> okay, because I was the one who tried to buy it at a uh, mint mint uh, market, right? So it was at 4 a.m. in the morning, 4.45 a.m. in the morning, I have to wake up at 4.30 and <laughs> camp there and wait, 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 wait. Suddenly the website changed at 4.45. It's so excited. I click, click, click. Within 
two minutes it's all gone i didn't get anything what mm. so i'm like very You'll disappointed and very stressed yeah. and because like there's some guessing fee that you need to pay it's like a transaction fee and i don't really know what i'm supposed to click i'm so stressed out at, at the end of it i didn't get anything let's, and let, i just yeah. switched off my computer and went back to sleep I'm so <laughs> depressed let's just say in a wow wow west yeah finally the government announced that like, this spot have go you know yeah. what i mean so people just yeah. go and snatch all the tools, you know what I mean? Yeah. Without doing what to do, right? Mm. And some don't even get entry into mining it. So that's what happened immediately uh, the moment the project was launched. So there are people who cost them three to five thousand dollars in gas fee and have yeah. minted nothing. nothing. What? The transaction yes, yes. fee. So the guessing fee, if I'm not wrong, there's like different tiers of fees that you pay. The okay. more expensive means the faster you can get get it yeah so if it's faster right the chances of you getting that nft is higher That's so it. so they prepare the they prepare their gas fees at the highest so they have the highest priority to get it yeah yeah but uh, I didn't uh, I'm, I'm too, not too sure about that but i know it's just super expensive for the gas fee mm. um chewy was awake doing it i was asleep hoping they get it but uh <laughs> didn't happen okay so uh okay so moving forward from this i would feel that's why OpenSea is the biggest platform but they are based on the ethereum blockchain yeah so they have the biggest market share the second one's gonna upcoming is faster that is way faster than ethereum and i believe this marketplace is the next one it's under a uh, solona so if you check last night or so last two days the mm -hmm. price just freaking moon i am not talking about moon is the moon gosh it is it's, it's rocket up so uh, the reason why is probably a lot of people are snatching this Solana token to go and buy NFTs. Mm. And and you don't need, it doesn't have Ethereum gas fees. The gas fees are like 0 0.0001 cent. Yeah. Yeah, and it's crazy fast uh, transactions. Yeah. But on a contrary note, right, because of gas fee, uh, Ethereum probably rose close to 4,000 mm. in the last uh, week, right? Yeah. And as Ethereum holder, mm. I'm pretty happy, you know, because yeah, of the yeah, whole, yeah. whole, whole oh, not bad, market, huh? right? So yeah, like, yeah. I, I started off telling people that uh, I believe in Ethereum because it's a utility uh, coin and uh, it's coming true right now. You mm. know, when I was telling people, everybody was like, laughing at me saying, oh, Bitcoin is better. But, but you know, I always say at least silver at the end of the day versus gold, you can use it to produce products that need silver, but gold, yeah. you only can produce jewelry and uh, they pretty much that's one of the main use of gold, right? So right. I believe in utility. So Ethereum will still be on the rise and it will still be going up. But mm. throughout this journey, I, I discover on this worker community, right, one criteria that I thought might be quite interesting. It's not proven, but maybe I can share as well. So there's this criteria that I thought is quite cool is that I saw when they launched the Mutant 8 uh, Serum, I think it was like this uh, bot, the, the Yacht Club site project, which is a Serum. Serum, oh. Serum. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. like a Serum. It's like, it's I, like thought, some I thought Semen. Newton Ape Seaman. NFT is like, what the f? Uh, well, <laughs> okay. Same <in> love. <laughs> okay. It's an artwork, right? But <clears throat> I realized that I can be factually wrong, guys. Please uh, please correct me because I'm new to this as well. So you kind of need to own a Newton Ape or you want to own some of the old projects yeah. before you can allow to mean or you can allow to own mm. one. Yeah. And this is very powerful when I look at this because I realized that it means that the all NFTs projects will always be prosper because when a new one launched, there's a reason to re-enter the buy to get a new, or there's a reason that the price will spike up again. So it is a whole ecosystem of NFT linking to NFTs, right? Yeah. I think that is the most powerful thing that I don't see as well. Many projects are singular projects. They are not chain projects. They don't uh -huh. link with previous, with next, right? Which means the useful life of an NFT after two weeks of hype or one month, usually just die now right. but with this right i saw someone who literally just bought it in order to get a second project and mm. then sell it back again i think I, I, volume, are yeah. you talking about like there's this particular one you buy the banana and then the banana allow you to mean something else so you kind of buy one and then you get two then sometimes some people sell this banana without minting the avatar Mm -hmm. NFT and then they can sell it at a higher price and you can actually check the serial number for this banana whether it has already mint the other project NFT yeah. or not I think it's quite interesting yeah. right? so, so I, I think these multiple chain uh, mm. linking projects by riding on the previous community to the next right will be a criteria moving forward I'll look at because the last two projects that I bought mm. definitely don't have such a robust community but however mm. the problem is this project that I just mentioned, their floor price is like three Ethereum. Shit. Yeah, so your barrel entry is like, it's quite high. But technically, three Ethereum is still cheap in the grand scheme of things. In a grand scheme of things and in the NFT space right now, oh. 
three Ethereum is like, okay, one Ethereum is norm. It's like, uh, it's like for those big projects. So, yeah. of course, but for a pocket uh, analogy, yeah, yeah. it's not small. Yeah, yeah, it's it's not still like 10,000. Uh, it's 10,000 a pop. Uh, mm. you know? I mean, who so, would yeah. think uh, when they were in like 20 years ago, like we were in studying and you think that we would pay $10,000 for a JPEG. Everybody will laugh at you. Yeah, Everybody. Even you will laugh at yourself. No, that's yeah. the thing. I'm I laughing don't at see myself the now. <laughs> that's the thing. I don't see the value. Like uh, that day, I was out shopping and I saw this very beautiful painting, like a physical painting mm-hmm. of a Mona Lisa, like a a, a newer Replica, version. Like yeah. Right. It's it's costing about twelve thousand dollars Singapore dollar. Mm-hmm. And then I thought about the e- NFT that I bought. Mm. You, you you felt sad, right? I felt like what the hell am <laughs> I paying for? Yeah, I was thinking <laughs> the amount of money you pay for NFTs, I would rather take it and buy Pokemon cards. That would the Charizard cards and all this. It will make a lot more sense, at least in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. I mean I mean if you think about it, right? Uh there was an era that we played this thing called Habo Hotel. I am not sure if you heard for Habo Hotel where we have our own about avatars and uh-huh. we we just hang out in like this chat and there was a time I mean if you guys are as old as us um, there was MSN you know there was a, 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 a IRC a, a IRC, a, a IRC Whoa, chats right those so, days, yeah. so there's no way to flex in IRC except for a nickname right so you like yeah. star your your clan name star minus plus yeah, you know, yeah, all yeah. this nonsense right so imagine Hubble Hotel and like Minecraft today right and if you own those NFT right you can display at your your room or you can display as you walk around and people click into you they see you own all this art piece right I think super cool this is the new world. The Ready Player One world is, is really happening right now. You know, mm. the Re- Ready Player One, if you all know the movie about like- Oh, that's how, a good movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think this world is happening, right? And and flexing artwork in the digital world, right? Is the next trend. Yeah. And, and think about legitimacy of art source also. Just like what Chu have mentioned about the newer rendition of the Mona Lisa, I think there's literally no resale value mm. because, I mean, apart from appreciating the artwork right like nobody knows the source I don't even know it I mean we just yeah. heard it right now but we talk about this art right now which is Mutant A you know crypto and, uh, punks, crypto punks <laughs> right there's it's so clear how much is it worth how much is it transacted right and there's also previous scandal whereby auction house have failed to authenticate artwork correctly yes. and so off fake artworks right and you can't this is not even a problem in NFT yep. so I think this is the new wave going forward you can print it out as a art piece to to share that um, but it's a flat 2D no yeah so so you can print it out and you say I own it yeah but now you can authenticate immediately yes. versus like oh you own a Mona Lisa show me uh, it's real trust me I think and this NFT projects this uh, profile pictures and stuff uh, that is a first step to the next step I just think it's the beginning so right now in trend is profile picture so you get like, like mutant apes you mm. get uh, crypto punk those are this this is the trend now yeah. but what follow up after that because to I mean to be fair profile picture so you're like, I'm like what the you're like I don't care you know but what will make a lot more sense the next step and I think this is like I'm 99% sure this is the way to mm-hmm. go NFT in games every one of us has played games at least a certain level and you kind of like treasure something in the game that you like a lot if you could nft the thing what it means the world because there's a lot of effort placed into creating the item making the item you earn it the trend now i mean i i fully foresee that nft games in 2022 is the way to go so how do you take part in this trend uh, there are a lot of research you need to do and you yeah. know probably mm. buy into and yeah and think about it we are just waiting for epic minecraft to come out with nft yeah i mean if minecraft would came out with uh, pixel blocks of nft right yeah oh my god man like they're selling at 0.00001 ethereum so now every block has yeah. value right that would be crazy man that you can buy in like thousands of blocks or like millions of blocks at very mm. cheap price to build what you need to build exactly i would definitely invest in minecraft nft i'm not too sure if it's available yet i have not done that research but you are right mm. one of the biggest utility right now is happening that we failed to mention earlier mm. it's that a lot of nft projects have its own gamification mm. of its own like community not just like discord but in a application way like mm. in a game yeah. in a display okay so let me make some predictions over here sure for you guys this is what i see i think solana the crypto uh s i think is sol dollar sign sol solana is going to probably search very high i think that uh, ethereum may overtake bitcoin may may but i think solana may catch up with ethereum that's how much solana will go the reason why is i'm seeing a lot of games they want to use ethereum but they can't because imagine when the games goes it's on crazy. you cannot have ethereum gas fees and ethereum transaction yes. time so solana is a lot faster and a lot cheaper 
and I see people doing setting up games under Solana. Mm. And one of them is this game called Star Atlas. You can Google about it and you just read about it. It's, it's um, basically creating a, your own verse. Yeah, your own the next Earth yes. Two. It's a very exciting project, Solana, and you can just 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 uh, yes. search about the game and you see if you like it. I think uh, probably it will go up in price, but more people needs to be educated as to how they judge the value of the NFT or the project itself. If it's just going to be like an adopter, everybody just following the wave because they are just following the wave, not knowing what they are doing, right? True. I think it will go down very fast. I see the value in it, in the the fact that it helps original artists authenticate all their products and also uh, earning the royalties, right? Mm. So there's a lot of values in this, but I don't know. I, I mean, just find it very weird. As yeah, of now. I feel the same. Like, why are profile pictures worth that much? Why I, is the pixelated picture that is like worth so much? I, I wouldn't pay, you know, like even $1. Yeah. I, I, I see it totally differently from, uh, yeah. from you guys. I think humans are always in need of affiliation and mm. there's just no wealthy online affiliation that is fully authenticated right now and NFT act as the community for wealthy authentication of groups and network and belief of this new world right so I might even like hold my breath to I mean I'm gonna say it out now to, mm. to, to just take 10 NFT to in that in invest in a very good community right just to be part of a, a and I that is nothing in the NFT world by the way guys 10 NFT but just to try in right but my prediction is this number one there's so much money flooding to NFT and open seas. Ethereum, right, base value have risen. Like yeah. Ethereum mm. is not gonna be for sure. be as low as ever, right? And mm. I am so happy for that because I'm Ethereum a believer. Mm. But on the same note, I'm concerned of the gas fee as well because I am a buyer of NFT and I know the problem with Ethereum right now. Mm. Secondly, I believe that 99.9% .9 of people in NFT space will lose money today if you're in, like me. I will lose money. But why am I doing this is because I am preparing myself for the moment where it becomes mainstream. Pay a little bit of expenses, figuring out the whole system, get the infrastructure ready. So when the opportunity comes, when people are figuring about setting up an account, figuring about Meta Wallet, yeah, yeah, yeah. figuring out buying uh, coins and transferring, right? I'm ready to act. So I'm paying for the expenses of readiness so that when I fully understand and immerse in the community, I will act and then I will be a NFT uh, flaunter back uh, next time, right? So I'm, cool. I'm ready for this game. And with the episode with me, Juno and um, Ken, remember, we already talked about NFT. Yeah, we, yeah, uh, yeah. We talked about NFT. We very big thing. So that's my prediction. And with that, right, I think we have covered pretty much most of the stuff in NFT, right? So mm. guys, what is your belief in NFT? Are you a investor? Are you watching by the side? Do you think you will go really badly? We would love to hear your feedback on what is your prediction of this NFT. Or do you have any tips like which NFT to buy? Just let me know in the comments. Copy right? yeah. 100x that, 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 that buy. And will you buy a donkey NFT? See you guys no, next no. episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>